I wanted to share some things that I've done in Notebook LM. One plugin that I found, and I showed this off previously on Office Hours, mass ad for Notebook LM. This must be the one. Okay, YouTube to Notebook LM. And look, this one's specifically useful for me in that I've got a lot of content on YouTube already. But I can basically go to YouTube, I can hit the magic button on that plugin, and it will let me bring in a whole bunch of videos. What I did was I went to our channel and I basically took the 300 most popular videos on our channel and I brought them all into one notebook. Notebook here, Notebook LM taps out at 300 sources right now, so I could only take the top 300. What I was able to do with that is I can now obviously query all of this because it's transcribed every one of those videos. I can ask anything about Google Workspace, obviously it's gonna be really useful. Or I might say, hey, help me, help me write a video, right? Now, very specifically useful for me as a YouTuber, that itself might not be as useful for you. But what I want to try and think about is we have different levels of using these AI tools. And I would say the easiest level to get started with is to put one or two or a handful of documents into a gem and then start querying that. If you reach the 10 document limit on a gem, very easy to take multiple PDFs and combine those into one big PDF. It might have 100 pages, it might have 500 pages and get that into the gem. You can do little tricks like that to, to get more in. With Notebook LM, considering you can add 300 sources, you can really start to think bigger in the kind of data that you can collect and bring in. Another thing that I did this week, we have lots and lots of conversations in the business, lots and lots of meetings, lots and lots of strategy, lots and lots of like working stuff out together. Every now and again, things kind of drop off. You know, you talk about it once and then it drops off or you talk about, you know, lots of different varied topics. And if you're an entrepreneur here, business can sometimes feel like this whirlwind of just like, you know, rushing from fire to fire, you know, rushing from idea to idea. And I thought you know, it, it would be nice to kind of have a little bit of clarity of thought, you know, in, in all of the calls, meetings and discussions that I've, I've had with the team. So what I did was I opened up a notebook, I went to add source, I went to Google Docs, because we record every one of our meetings into Gemini notes. And you can turn this on by default in the admin panel, but every single one of our meetings is recorded with Gemini. Unless we want to talk about, you know, where we stash the gold bars in the backyard, maybe then we will stop the recording and switch off the transcription. But, you know, the government can still listen. So always remember that it may be secure, doesn't necessarily mean encrypted, but we have all of our notes in Gemini. That means that I can grab the transcriptions of pretty much any meeting that we have in the business. So I went here, I said, right, okay, let's go to Google Docs. And I just searched notes by Gemini. It's gonna bring up all of the transcriptions. There's no shift select. You've got to click these one by one, which sucks because you can only do 50 at a time and then you lose your space. So it took me a few minutes to do this, but you get the idea. I went through and clicked through and added all of these. But the feature that I used from this, and I can obviously query it and ask it questions and tell me, hey, what are the top challenges in our business right now? I can ask it that. If you're wondering, I use an app called Whisper Flow to Dictate, AI-driven dictation app, which is very cool. So that's gonna read through all those sources and, and again, act as a little bit of a guide, but this has got a, a vast knowledge base because it's it's taking all of our real conversations and thinking about it. You know, this is going through, this is going through a lot of data. Each one of these documents is, I don't know, 20, 30, 50 pages, because these might be hour long meetings and it's every word for word transcribed in there from Google. So I can, I can query things like this. And if I wanted to train a gem really well, I might take a large data set like this, ask it to summarize into, you know, I don't know, maybe I've got a couple of thousand pages in all of these. Maybe I say, hey, summarize this into a 30 page document. And then I would put that document into the gem. Can't put 300 documents into a gem, but I can put one really good document in there. Nothing too bad here. That's gonna surprise anyone that's a business owner. Anyway, but I can query anything that I wanna query here. And that's really useful. But what I used was the mind map feature next. And this is where it got really, really interesting. So with the mind map feature, I'm a highly visual person. It gave me a full, rundown of like everything that's in my brain right now that's just you know scattered between meetings and notes and tasks and projects and delegated to team members and I need to chase and follow up and just gave me this really nice map of absolutely everything I think a good skill as a as a business leader is to be able to switch between the micro, but also zoom out to the macro as well. And this just instantly gave me this like zoom out 
macro view of everything going on at the moment. And if I wanted to be really clever, I could set up automations to automatically add new transcriptions to a document and, and you know, have things updated in real time. But this just gave me a really, really wonderful map here. I always promote recording and capturing everything, not so much because you want to necessarily go back to every single meeting individually, but when we start collecting large amounts of data and we can look at the trends of that data, that's where things start getting really, really interesting and exciting. And we learned this from Google. We've been working really closely with Google as an organization for 15, I don't know, nearly 20 years. And we get to see inside how they work because we work with their teams. And it's not all butterflies and unicorns. They're just as dysfunctional as, as any other large organization. But one thing that they do really, really well is data collection. And so they collect and record absolutely everything. And they do that because they can then use tools like this to get trends. That I think is really useful for business owners, for business leaders, to be thinking about, you know, how can we make decisions that are based on data? Well, if it's really easy to collect the data, and now with large language models, Gemini, OpenAI, Perplexity, whatever your flavor is, we can query that data and get insights from that data so much more easily. And I like to think of it as you or your other leaders in the business. How can we, when we have an idea and we want to gain an insight, get that insight immediately? Well, good data in, good data out. And this makes it very easy to do that. Where previously your business would have to wait, oh, can this person run that report? Can this person find that spreadsheet? I've got to collect the data or I've got to update the data. It's going to take a week. You know, if you have a question or you're looking for an insight, that turnaround time was always a week. Now it might be a day or hours or minutes. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.